This is the poem at the end of Minecraft. After devoting countless hours to playing a game, the developer has a simple message. Wake up. The only, and new, belief I hold since going down my first rabbit hole a few years back is the belief that we are spiritual beings. Our programming has been geared towards making us feel small and helpless. That we need false idols to make men's law to keep us in line. That we have no purpose and no hope. Just a sterile rock created so that we can go to work for another man and make money for another man. It's an absolute travesty, I believe them for even a second. Yes Minecraft is symbolic in many ways with the book of Revelation in the Bible and is preparing us for the end times war. Whether you want to believe it or not the facts are undeniable and the similarities are tantamount to the fact this game was divinely created through the hand spiritually. The creator of this game goes by the name of Notch and in Jewish Gematria that equals equals 201 and Roman and Jewish Gematria also equals equals 201 same goes for with Apollo and what does that mean, you tell me. The Ender Dragon represents Revelation 12 the woman and the dragon. The pigmen represents the demon legion of Revelation 9 the locusts were not given power to kill them. You can see this in the game because pigmen don't attack the player unless the player attacks the pigmen and because they are legion you attack one you are forced to fight them all. The golden swords the pigmen have represents how the locust has this connection with gold grounds. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. The wither represents the beast from the bottomless pit in Revelation 9 and the three unclean spirits in Revelation 16. They were ruled by a king, the angel of the abyss. His name in Hebrew is Abad, and in Greek it is Apollyon. And I saw three unclean spirits that looked like frogs coming out of the mouths of the dragon, the beast, and the false prophet. It's not a coincidence that the wither has three mouths. I'm barely even scratching the surface here with all these profound connections, and the only reason why I'm writing this here is because of Minecraft 10th birthday. Other than that this is just too deep for most people to understand because your eyes are still in the dream so I'm going to end it here. One day everyone will see. Good poem. Seem like the gaming industry, with Minecraft and PewDiePie could have the influence on society that might be needed, hopefully. Didn't the Minecraft creator tell people to follow Q as well? The villagers are Jews, they have big noses and a golem. It tells the truth. Damn ninja cutting onions again.